Lilia, Galani, it's so good to see you guys. Hey. I just wanted to say that I'm in love with dirt. And the fact that Brett has a motocross show is so awesome. The riding on it is insane. Thanks, yeah, thank you. Yeah, just the bikes, the stunts, everything. It's just all so cool. I'll see you guys in five. Okay, see ya, bye. <sighs> the riding on that show is insane. <laughs> I mean, how did we end up on a show about dirt bikes and we're literally the only two that never get to ride them? I mean, we should have our own spin-off show where we race. Yeah. Riding is in my blood. No one can take that away from me. It is too dangerous for you to ride right now. You can't stop me. Lilia thinks she has this race in the bag. What are you doing to my bike? Uh, nothing. I will not lose. Can you just not talk about it? I'm great at not talking. Guys, it's your girl Indiana Masara, and welcome back to another episode of Frat Chat. It is that time of year again when your squad is back at school and your favorite shows are back in session. We're gonna catch you up with everything that's been happening this fall. We also have an amazing musical performance by Dylan Conriki. But first, to celebrate some of the newest episodes of Chicken Girls Total Eclipse and Dirt, we've got a pop quiz with some of the newest cast members Jay Ulloa from Chicken Girls, Logan Pepper from Total Eclipse, and Maitland Pezzo from Dirt. Let's go see how much they know about the Bright Universe. Welcome students, my name is Miss Masara and this is my colleague, Mr. Marcel. So for the fans, why don't we do a roll call? Please state your name, your show, and your character and a little bit about it. Go ahead. My name is Logan Pepper. I'm on Total Eclipse and my character's name is Luca. Can you spill a little bit about your character to us? Ooh, okay. What I can say is that Luca likes to start some trouble. Ooh. <laughs> all right, all right. Hi, my name is Maitland Pezzo and I play Celeste on Dirt. And everyone in the Brat family and universe has been so welcoming and wonderful, and it's been really awesome. What's your favorite thing about being on the dirt set? Getting to ride some of the motorbikes. <laughs> I'm Joe Yoa, and I play Drake on Chicken Girls, and it's my first time acting, so it's been a really cool experience. This being a back to school episode and your guys' first semester on a Brat show, we thought we would give you a pop quiz to test you out on some of Brat's most iconic towns with a game called Attaway or Millwood. So each of you have a paddle on your desk right now, and it has Attaway or Millwood. So we will ask you questions and you have to answer Attaway or Millwood. <laughs> so let's see if you got what it takes to pass the quiz. Indy, the floor is yours. Her name is Max, she has a boyfriend named Bagel, and her brother lives in the computer. What school does she go to? Three, two, one. And the answer is? What? Wait, she does yeah. not go there. <laughs> What town is Allen's Arcade in? Okay, I think I got it. You do? Is it, is it like in California? Three, two, one. And it was? Attaway. <laughs> Allen's Arcade is featured in a lot of our shows, but mainly Chicken Girls, the only <laughs> cast member. <laughs> what school does Danielle from Boss Cheer attend? <laughs> Smell what? I quit. <laughs> What school did Flora, AKA Flunky Hill, attend? I'm gonna give you a little hint. This is from one of Brat's original shows, like one of the first shows that they ever did. Ah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm four for four. Yeah, you're yes. pretty good. <laughs> Next question. Where is Rick's racetrack? I got this one. She's on I it. got she it. Got this. Okay, I feel confident. Hey, you got a point! Yeah! yeah. Jay gonna catch up? I'm just saying, Jay might do a comeback. What school does Billy Ridgeway go to? He is part of a newspaper team. I'm pretty oh. sure they both. Oh. Okay, I think okay. I got it. Three, two, one. Yeah, you got it right. Yeah. This is the final question, and it is worth 
five points. So as of right now, this game is anyone's game. All right, all right. I'm a little bit more nervous. Okay, okay. Which high school team won the state dance competition in the season two finale of Chicken Girls? Three, <laughs> no. two, one, Fine. go! And you're all wrong. <laughs> It was a trick question. Power Surge won. The official dance team of Attaway is actually Chicken Girls. That means I won. Hey, you won. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for playing with us. I think a few of you need to study a bit more. We can't wait to see you guys in your new show. Aw. Thanks. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>《Sexy Time》Season 2 Episode 7 Chicken Girls Season 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 2 Episode 7 Hey guys, it's Cindy here. So I am currently sitting with Melissa and Kenzie for their amazing My Friends Place event. Everyone, thank you so much for coming. We're filling these backpacks for the homeless youth in LA, which there's a ton of them. So how did you guys get involved with this amazing charity, My Friends Place? My Friends Place asked my other daughter, Maddie, to speak at an event last year, and I just fell in love with it. Have you guys always been interested in charitable activities? Yes, actually. I've been doing charity work and giving back since I was like seven. Two. Well, we used to go to the nursing homes when yes, you were two. Yes, we used to paint all of the old ladies' nails and dance on the tables, and I've loved it ever since. And it's really fun doing it with your friends as well, so I'm glad that we got to do this today. It's easy once you guys get the flow of how many go in each one. So we'll get everybody like at a station. So right now we are filling up the pencil cases, and Indy is helping us get more <laughs> pencils. Yeah. Post-it notes. Get a ruler. Thank you. Kenzie, as a role model to so many girls around the world, why is it so important to give back? I'm very fortunate to live this life, and I feel like we're all the same, so I definitely want to give back to them. I love you, Diggy. Diggy, how many backpacks have you done yet? Uh, this is going to be my 12th, because I got Dang. three. Dang! Yeah, start with the notebooks, though. You got to get the notebooks already in the bag, and then you can go. Getting two notebooks, and there's very different styles, so that's cool. They have a variation of what they can choose and what they like. Yes. Yeah. We are adding crayons and glue sticks to the backpack. I'm subbing it with crayons, and Kayla's putting in the glue for me. Oh. And then we can have pizza, ice cream truck, and swim. It's like 91 degrees outside, so that's why I'm double stacked. Dab, dab. This ice cream's really good. We're at this gorgeous house, stuffing backpacks for kids who are not as fortunate as us. It's been a blast. It's Toby out. <laughs> We're having so much fun. I'm getting ice cream now. I'm really excited. Gonna cool off and go pack some more bags. Done. <laughs> oh, good. I don't know, man. I'm so proud of you guys. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for sitting with me, and thank you so much for putting on an amazing event. I'm sure I'll see you guys soon. School is back in session, and the squad is back in action. We've only seen the trailers, but Chicken Girls, Total Eclipse, and Dirt are going to be crazy this season. Don't forget to tune in next week for the premieres. Until then, let's see what happens this week in trailers. On Chicken Girls, things are about to get pretty dramatic. Looks like Rhyme is going to be torn between her OG crush TK and her new boy, Scandalous! Our favorite girl squad is starting high school, and it seems like everyone's a little on edge. Some of our favorite couples are still going strong, and it looks like a few new romances are in store. Birdie found herself a bad boy, and Quinn and Hamilton seem to be getting a little friendly. Wonder how Rooney's gonna feel about that. Looks like Rhyme's made an enemy. They don't call it a drama club for nothing. The Queen Bees certainly know how to make a splash. But wait, is that Ellie joining the dark side? Yikes. Rhyme's moving in a different direction too. Instead of dance, Rhyme's giving showbiz a try. Looks like this Juliet might have found her Romeo. Or should I say rodeo. Tensions are high and it doesn't help that everything seems to be changing too fast. But our girls have each other's backs, and at the end of the day, they will always be the chicken girls. Over on Total Eclipse, space can be pretty lonely. Cassie seems really happy to have found someone to share it with. Hi Sam! Back on Earth, Mr. Lane, now the vice principal, is making everyone find their thing. But Cassie is a little distracted. Meanwhile, Kate gets an after-school job and meets another witch named Luca. Diana's running for class president, as if she needs more power. And Jenna's a little surprised to see Spencer got a girlfriend. Ouch. Mr. Lane signs Cassie up for dance class. 
and she meets this very cute boy in her first class. New romances are blossoming, and Diana's princess fantasies are looking epic. Even though the journey might get a little bumpy, our girls will always help each other through it. On dirt, things are getting heated on the track. All of our favorites are back, and someone's going to wipe out majorly. Luke's not having a great time at home, and things seem like they're getting worse. Meanwhile, Sabrina's trying to prove herself in her new dance class despite the odds. Johnny's trying to win Autumn back, but she's not having it. And Luke and Sabrina are still sneaking around. There's also a new rider in town. And Johnny's feeling pretty threatened. Seems like this season's going to be a fun ride. Right by him, knowing what I'm thinking by the spark in his eyes, yeah. All the summer days and nights were amazing, jumping in the river outside when it's raining. 